Check your skin for new marks and signs of redness twice a day. Focus on areas that are at risk for pressure sores. Many people do this first thing in the morning at, bed, at, bed, at bedtime or when they shower or do their bowel routines. Over time, you will learn which areas of your body parts are problems for you. But you should always be on the lookout for new problem areas. So make sure you scan your whole body. Just like brushing your teeth or any other daily habit, this is something you build into your daily routine. You also need to pay special attention to checking your skin whenever you sit on a new or different surface like a wheelchair cushion or in a car or plane. You may need to play around with different equipment to do your skin check. You may want to use a large mirror or one with a handle so you can see the back of your body. If you work with an attendant, you can direct them to help you with your skin check. Tell them clearly where to look and what to look for. For example, look at my tailbone and tell me if you see any red marks or spots. If they see something, ask them to describe it or position you to hold a mirror so you can see it. Be careful when you play sports or if you're out in the rain or snow because your skin is more likely to break down when it's wet. If you master the routines of your daily skin checks, you can prevent skin problems from interfering with your life. Here's a good saying to remember. If you want to prevent pressure sores, you need to practice pressure relief. People with spinal cord injuries need to develop good daily habits of shifting their weight often so they avoid putting continuous pressure on any one part of the skin. At first, you'll want to work with your therapist to determine the best weight shifting options for you. They can help you with techniques to perform your weight shift effectively. You may find you need to be especially conscious of your body position and the pressure you're putting on different body parts like your elbows. This can be challenging if your sensation like touch and pressure are impaired. So you need to pay special attention to what you're doing while you develop good habits. The goal is to get to a point where you instinctively shift your weight on a constant basis during your daily routine. Here's how to develop these habits. Start by fully shifting your weight on a regular schedule. For example, every 15 to 20 minutes. If you forget, try using an alarm or a timer to remind you to do your weight shift. Over time, you should find that you can incorporate a program of constant weight shifting and pressure relief into the rest of your activities.